If you like snorkeling, then this is a place for you. We're at Flicon Flack. Flicon Flack is found in the district of Black River on the west coast of Mauritius, about 15 kilometers south of Port Louis, which of course is the capital. It's one of the longest beaches in Mauritius, in fact it's 8 kilometers in length and it's also now the second most popular place on the island after Grand Bay. So today we're walking from a hotel in Tamarin called Tamarina, we're walking through the forest and we're going to walk all the way along the beach to Flicon Flac Public Beach. This is a two hour trek which we did with about 50 or so kids. Tamarind Forest is a great place to walk as you really feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, really in nature, and it's also the location of a fantastic wave. Once you walk through the forest, you'll find yourself on the large, white, sandy beach. And it's not difficult to see why tourists flock here, as there are many top quality hotels to choose from along this stretch. Seems like a very long walk, and two hours is long, but once you get to Flick on Flack, you will see it is so worth it because the snorkeling is top quality. Check out this guy over here, this one. Fisherman trying his luck. Ça fait longtemps vous habitez là? Deux ans. Deux ans? C'est tout? Aujourd'hui il y a plein d'algues. C'est normal, c'est la marée. So I wanted to show you this beach, Flick on Flack, because it's one of my favorite spots for snorkeling, just because of the fact that the reef is so close to the shore, you can literally walk straight into the sea from the beach and you'll see fish immediately. So that makes it a great place to come with kids. So after their walk, these school kids are going to snorkel around a set of floating buoys which have been set up by a local dive school. They'll have some photos with them of various sea creatures which they'll need to identify. What makes this place so great for snorkeling is that there are just so many different types of fish that you can see. Although the coral has definitely been affected by global warming, there are pops of colour here and there, and it's my hope that eventually one day this reef will look pristine once again. There are sea urchins here, so make sure you're wearing reef booties or flippers. And also, there can be a bit of a strong current, so just take care. I saw square fish, starfish, and we saw pepperfish. So this is a great exercise for the kids, because they're basically utilising all the knowledge that they would have learnt throughout the year with regards to their snorkel and the mask. And they're also learning about the ocean, how to preserve it, how to protect it, how to respect it. And it's also really good for their confidence. And for those of you who are interested in a little bit of history, this place derived its name from an old Dutch phrase, Friedland Flak, that literally means free and flat land. 
that this area is also well known for its sugarcane plantations. But the thing I love the most is this long, expansive beach and the beauty of those casuarina trees lining the shore. So basically you can come here even at midday, the hottest time of the day, and you've still got shade. It's really cool. And I'm actually going to eat my mango, which I just bought at one of the food stalls for 40 rupees. <laughs> And if you're after more than just a fruit snack, you won't be disappointed. Just off the beach, there's a whole lot of little stalls where you can sample some delicious Mauritian cuisine. They offer all sorts of different foods, ranging from rice dishes to noodles to your samosas and, of course, fruit. Well, that concludes my tour of Flick on Flag, and I promise you, come down and check it out. The snorkeling is superb, the water temperature is great, and well, you can get yourself a nice bite to eat as well. Catch ya very soon.